Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, if I talk about, we are taking this question from the topic of differentiation. And we have taken this top question from the year 2023. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, the question tells us let K and M be positive real numbers such that the function f of x which is given to us here that is equal to 3x square plus k into root of x plus 1 for the values of x between 1 and 0 and that function f of x is also equal to mx square plus 3mx square plus k square for the values of x greater than 0. So this is the values of the function f of x given to us for different values of x. And we have been told that this function f of x is differentiable for x greater than 0. So for all the positive value of x, we know that the function f of x is differentiable. And further, we have been asked to find the value of the expression that is 8 into f dash of 8 divided by f dash of 1 by 8. So we need to find the value of this entire expression here. And the four options that are given to us in the terms of the answers for the expression are 309, 311, 315 and the last option given to us is 317. So we need to figure out which one of the following four options is the correct answer for the question given to us. Let's first understand the idea of solving these questions. So we have been given that function f of x is differentiable for x greater than 0. So if it is differentiable, we definitely know that f of x also has to be continuous. And at x equal to 1, if I use the idea of continuity, we can say that the left hand limit, which is x tending to 1 minus f of x, is equal to extending to 1 plus f of x is equal to f of 1 here. So I understand this is your left hand limit for the values of x less than 1. Right hand limit for the values of x greater than 1 that is equal to f of 1. So once I have f of x with me, we know when it is telling us to find left hand limit that is for values of x less than 1. So if I find that I have that expression with me that you are finding the limit of the values of a function for x less than 1 and for x less than 1 we know limit x tends to 1 minus the expression which we have here is 3x square plus k root of x plus 1. So if I want to find the left hand limit here we are just putting the values of x as 1 in this expression. So that makes it 3 into 1 square plus k into root of 1 plus 1. So that makes it 3 plus k. This is your left hand limit. Let's try to find the right hand limit as well. So right hand limit is limit x tends to 1 plus f of x. That is limit x tends to 1 plus. And the expression of the function is 3m x square plus k square. So if I put the value of x equal to 1 here, it becomes 3m x square, that is 1 square plus k square. So that makes it 3m plus k square. So you have right hand limit also here. Now f of 1 also we know at x equal to 1, we have that same expression. So f of 1 is nothing but equal to same as right hand limit. Because at x equal to 1 also we have that same expression of the function of x. So if I just now use the idea left hand limit and right hand limit are equal to each other. So if I just use that idea, I know 3 plus k root 2 is equal to dm plus k square. So I have this one equation in terms of k and m. So one equation cannot solve two unknowns. So I will have to find out one more equation in terms of k and m so that if I solve them simultaneously, I get the values of k and m here. Let's figure out. We have also been given that function as differentiable for all the values of x positive. So if the function is differentiable, I know 
again i can use the idea that left hand derivative is equal to right hand so we have for x less than 1 function f of x as 3x square plus k root of x plus 1 so f dash of x becomes 3 into derivative of x square is 2x k derivative of root x is 1 upon 2 root of x plus 1 into derivative of x plus 1 which is 1 so you get f dash of 1 here that is nothing but the left hand derivative because we are finding it for x less than 1 so left hand derivative becomes equal to 6x which is 6 into 1 plus k upon 2 root of 1 plus 1 so that is 6 plus k upon so we have left hand derivative given to us now if i find the right hand derivative also for x greater than or equal to 1 left hand derivative and right hand derivative also equal to f dash of 1 so f dash of 1 and right hand derivative are equal to each other because for all the values of x greater than 1 or equal to 1 we have same function so that is 3 mx square plus k square so that gives me f dash of x turns out 3m into derivative of x square 2x plus derivative of k square that is 0 so 6mx once we have this as 6mx if i want to find out right hand derivative again if i am putting x equal to 1 i get this 6 so f dash of 1 we also know that is equal to right hand derivative so, so if i just use the idea to equate left hand and right hand derivative equal to f dash of 1 I know left hand derivative is this, right hand derivative is this. So if I equate them, I get this equation turning out 6 plus k upon 2 root 2 is equal to 6m. So that is our second equation in terms of k and m. Once I have two equations in terms of k and m here, I can just use the idea to solve them simultaneously and get the values of k and m. So if I write the two equations which we had, one was 3 plus k root 2 equal to 3m plus k square. 3 plus k root 2 is equal to am plus k square. So if I use that idea, I get 3m becomes equal to 3 plus k root 2 minus k square. So if I turn out this equation 1 to make it same as 6m I'll multiply both sides by 2 so I get this expression turning out 6 plus 2 root 2 k minus 2 k square is equal to 6 so I have this first equation transformed into 6m terms as equation 2 so once I solve them simultaneously I can equate both of these ideas so once I equate both of these ideas here, my expression changes to 6 plus k upon 2 root 2 is equal to 6 plus 2 root 2 k minus 2 k square. So you get this 6 and 6 gets cancelled out. You get k upon 2 root 2. So if I multiply 2 root 2 with both the ideas here, I get this k as 8. So 2 into 2, 4, root 2 into root 2, 2. So 4 into 2, 8, 8k. Minus, this becomes 2 into 2 root 2, so 4 root 2. If I solve this, 4 root 2 k square is equal to, so if I'm taking this on the other side, this becomes equal to 7k. So if I solve this, I get this 4 root 2 k square minus 7k. So I have k common 4 root 2 k minus 7 is equal to 0. From this expression I understand k is equal to 0 or 4 root 2 k minus 7 is equal to 0. So from this expression I get k as 7 upon 4 root 2 or k equal to 0. But in the question if you see it is told to us that k cannot be equal to 0. So since we have been given k cannot be equal to 0 I have to reject this value and with that I get only one single value for k 
that it is 7 upon 4 root 2. If I use that idea to find m here, so let's see what m becomes. I know 6m is equal to this. So if I use the equation 2, we know 6m is equal to 6 plus k upon 2 root 2. Where I know k is 7 upon 4 root 2 into 2. So that makes it 6 plus. This becomes 7 upon 8 into 2, which is 16. That makes it m becomes 16 into 6, 96, 96 plus 7, 103. 103 upon 16 into 6, which is 96. So you get m also 103 upon 96. Now let's just find out once we get values of k and m, just find out 8 into f dash of 8 upon f dash of 1. So we know already f dash of 8, it's a mistake. 8 f dash of 8. So let's first figure out f dash of 8. We already have the idea that for x greater than 1, f dash of x was given as like this, that is 6mx. So if I just use the idea, put f dash of 8, become 6m8. So it is 48m and f dash of 1 by 8. We already have that also with us. That the derivative for x equal to 1 by 8 means what? x is less than 1 and for x less than 1 we have f dash of x as 6x plus k upon 2 root x plus 1. So if I use that idea, for x less than 1 we know it is f dash of x in this case was 6x plus k upon 2. So if I use that idea putting x equal to 1 by 8 becomes 6 by 8 plus k upon 2 root of 1 by 8 plus 1. So 1 by 8 plus 1. If I solve it, it becomes 3 by 4 plus k upon 2 root 9 by 8, 9 by 8 third. So that makes it 3 by 4 plus k upon 2. Root of 9 is 3 and root 8 it goes in the denominator. So root of 8 is 2 root 2. 2 2 cancels. So 2 2 cancels out. We get 3 by 4. F dash of 1 by 8. Becomes 5 plus k root 2 upon 3. Now once we have both of these ideas, if I just put the values of k also and m also in previous, I have f dash of 8, 48m. So 48 into 103 or 96. So 48 ones are 48 ones are. Get this 103. And f dash of 1 by 8 also if I figure out k is 7 upon 4 root 2, 8 root 2, 5. So this cancels out. And you get this expression turning out 3 by 4 plus 7 by 2. If I make the denominator same multiplying 3 on both sides, I get this 9 plus 7, 16 by 12. So 4 4s are, 4 3s are, you get this as turning out. So you have those two expressions. If you just put that in the values of the expression, which is asked to us, 8 f dash of 8 upon f dash of 8. That turns out 8 into 103 by 2 upon f dash of 1 by 8, which is 4 by 3. 2 ones are 2 fours are. You get this 4 into 103 upon 4 into this and this gets answered. 103 into 3, you get with us 309. So the correct answer for the question which is given to us here, it is 309. So if you see the option that matches here with the question, it is option A. So A is the correct answer for the question which is asked to us that find the value of this entire expression. So when the function is given to us as differentiable, first idea you can use as the continuity that if a function is differentiable, it has to be continuous. 
So if I use that different continuity function, left hand limit and right hand limit, if I equate them, I got one equation in terms of k and m. If I use the idea of differentiability, left hand derivative and right hand derivative, and I equate both of them as well, I got another equation. I solve the two equations simultaneously to get the values of k and m. Once I got the values of k and m from the two equations, I just use the fi final idea that is finding f dash of 8 and f dash of 1 by 8, putting the values of k and m. And once I solve that further, I got that and put that in the expression. I got the answer as e 9 which matches with option A. So A is the correct answer for the question. I hope you have understood this. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other questions from some other topic. And we are going to continue this series of questions. Also, stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Do like, share and subscribe if you are finding this helpful. Do share this videos with your friends also who can take the benefit from these questions which we are solving every day. Thank you.